representing the Dream Defenders. A national and now international dialogue has been brewing around the harmfulness of stand your ground laws, also called shoot first laws, and their implications for the right to life, non-discrimination, and equality before the law. These laws have in a sense legalized the devaluing and dehumanizing of minorities. While we are pleased that the Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the impacts of standing ground laws on race, and the administration uh, has publicly expressed their concerns regarding these laws, it is imperative that the federal government ensure that state and local governments do not promulgate laws that violate rights as fundamental as the rights of life and equality before the law. Standing ground laws amount to state complicity in the perpetuation of violence. Research has shown that SYG laws are dangerous in terms of increasing levels of homicide and are discriminatory in their application as to race and gender. Even worse, blanket immunity and broad discretion to law enforcement offered by Florida-type SYG laws infringe on victims' access to courts and their right to a remedy. The most recent case involving the murder of Jordan Davis and the jury's deadlock on his murder expose just how much confusion SYG have, has introduced into the criminal process. As you may know, the three high-profile tragedies that we have witnessed regarding SYG laws occurred in Florida. Florida was also the first state to enact such a law, and so it should be the first to repeal such a law. The federal government must support such a repeal. Unfortunately, the people's call for a repeal has been ignored by the Florida legislature. Not only that, but more legislation is being sent down the pipeline to gun us down including a so-called warning shot bill, whose advocates are pushing it under the guise of support for Marissa Alexander, a young African-American woman set to face up to 60 years for firing a shot into the ceiling of her home to fend off her repeated abuser, who was threatening her at the time. These lawmakers have shown that they don't care about Marissa or our communities. Florida and other states are currently looking at laws that would arm school teachers with guns, and other states are currently looking at those laws. And I would postulate that if, if it would not be long before one of our teachers stands their ground against one of our children. We are not safe in our streets, our neighborhoods, gas stations, movie theaters, and yes, now our schools. We recommend three ways in which the federal government can begin to address the harm of standing ground laws. Enact stricter gun control laws, including more effective and comprehensive background checks that focus on histories of violence. Enact the End Racial Profiling Act, to address the biased manner in which standard ground laws are applied, and take action at the federal level by, for example, conditioning federal funding to local law enforcement officials on the repeal of standard ground laws in the interest of promoting a society free of violence and fear. Thank you for your time.